Welcome to this episode of The Gunman. This video, I'll be taking you through this XF Jaguar painted in pearl grey metallic paint code 2030. So, as you can see, the prep work's already been done. I've been taking it in, masked it all up. What I'm using here is a wax and grease removing solvent. I then wipe the whole thing down with a yellow tack cloth at the same time as blowing it off with the air gun. It ended up that the footage for that part was no good because I had uh, the chest mount on this GoPro for this video and I decided to cut that footage out. So, um, first coat, you're just putting it on medium weight. You don't want it on too heavy. Um, if you do, sometimes you can end up uh, having swelling. It can react with uh, any rub throughs that you may have and the primer. So. Um, if you want to see the prep work on this car, I've actually got another video I just uploaded. Um, check that out and you'll see the prep work on how to prepare a car and sand it all down. So I've given that first coat approximately 3 or 4 minutes um, to dry off in between coats. You can tell when it's dry it's no longer shiny, it'll eggshell using solvent base, base coat. Um, so on with the next coat, you want to Start getting your coverage up, put it on touch wetter than your, than your first coat. And um, after you've got this uh, coverage coat on, uh, you'll then put your blending clear over the blends and then your tech coat or your technique coat. As you can see, it's no longer see through, you can no longer see any of the primer patches. using about 25 to 30 PSI on this second coat and for the last coat I'll jack it up to 30 PSI or 2 bar so this is the um, the blending clear which I use it's just a clear coat of base coat Standox it's 599 is the number of the tinter and I thin that down at a 1 to 1 ratio so I find it's better if you have it um, a little bit thinner then your base coat, because I like it to dry nice and quickly, the more thin it is, it's going to dry quicker. So straight away, when that's still wet, you um, put your blend coat, your tech coat on of your base coat. So uh, two bar of pressure, as I said, and you don't want it on as wet as that uh, second coat. It's just um, just dropping on, so that the metallic and the pearl is going to stand up. Um, basically, yeah, the metallic is a two-sided um, piece of aluminium, it's a flake, and the pearls are a five-sided mineral, so if you, um, if you put it on too heavy, well then that's going to end up uh, flowing with the flow of the paint, and you're not gonna, uh, it's not going to reflect the light, so that's why I want this coat on nice and um, just medium wet, not too dry, not too heavy. So. Once that's done, I've gone out, mixed my clear up, given it five minutes in between to, to flash right off, dry right down. And now we're putting our clear on. So I've got the pressure up to two bar uh, when I'm using clear coat. I'm using the HVLP air cap on it for this. So um, you've probably seen, if you've seen some of my other videos, you hear me say, oh, I've got the fluid wound right out. Um, my climate is actually starting to change a little bit, so it's coming into winter in my part of the world. So um, I ended up getting a couple of little runs on a couple of edges, so I've ended up winding my um, my fluid in a touch. I've got it uh, three turns out, so wound it right in, come out three turns, and I've found that it's a better setting now that it's starting to cool down um, in the hot hotter months you um you want to just get as much paint on as you can because it dries so quick um now it's cooling down more chance of it running it's going to stay wetter for longer so so i'm using uh Stanox crystal clear pro for this job um three to one clear and i've put 10 percent reducer in it i'm using fast hardener um it's starting to cool down as i say um and also I found a uh, bit of reduce actually helps it dry out quicker too. So um, uh, in the middle of the summer um, I probably wouldn't put any reducer in it because it gets quite hot over here. Um, in the middle of the summer it could be 45 degrees some days. And um, the, the heat actually thins the clear out. It's like um, engine oil. When your engine's cold then the oil's going to be thick. And 
it's the same thing with paint when the when the paint heats up it's going to thin itself out so uh, temperature reducer on a day like this ambient temperature is about about 20 so um, along with the fast hardener so this gun's a GDI Pro HVLP um, uh, I've got a couple of reviews and demos um, on other guns I've got a couple of links at the end you can check them out if you haven't already there's the um, an S I want a W400, which is a pretty popular gun, and also the Sarjet HVLP uh, 4000B is the model, and that's the digital one too. So um, these are just a great all-round gun. They're my favourite. I've got four of them. Um, you'll see me using it in most of my jobs. Um, uh, if I was going to do something like wheels, um, where they're so. Uh, Pretty delicate painting, you don't want to get too much paint on. I'd change over to the uh, T2 air cup, but for this job, um, you really want to get it on nice and wet. I'm using the HDLP. So, hang around to the end. We've got some footage of the car once it's all finished off. Got it in the sun, and we've got it after it's polished too. So, um, a guy that I've actually just, he's just started at our workshop, a new guy, he's got the, the Vilbus. GTI Pro Lite and um, I've asked him if I can do some videos with that and he said that's fine so I'll be, up, be uploading a couple of uh, reviews and demos on the GTI Pro Lite so keep an eye out for that one soon. That pretty much brings this job to an end. I was quite happy with how it came up. So here I'll try to give you a look at the orange peel. Try to get the camera right down. You can see it's got a nice wet look to it. Consistent with the jags. One or two bits of dust, but that's standard. So this is out in the morning sun. <coughs> We've got a nice colour, no real colour difference to the rear bumper bar there. And this is after the door handles have been put in and it's been polished up. So the owner should be quite happy with their car. So thanks again for watching and this has been another Gunman production. Goodbye.